Let's see a few different methods to merge belts in Factorio. But why merge belts? Imagine you have created a mining outpost, creating multiple belts of raw ore. Usually these belts are not always full, so if you drag these belts to wherever you process them or load them into a train, you are wasting throughput. If you don't know what belt throughput is, watch my previous tutorial on that topic. Back to merging. So what is the solution? Easy. Merging belts and increasing compression. But how? There are a few different ways to do this. Some better than others, but the perfect solution depends on what you want to achieve. What I'm saying here is that there is no one perfect solution for all scenarios. Okay, first and the easiest approach is to just pour one belt into the other by using a T-junction. This is also called side loading. It's easy, it's cheap, and a good way to merge belts. While super useful, side loading is not efficient for this scenario. It only fills or compresses one side of the second belt. Hmm, how else can we merge them? Double side load. Use a middle belt like this and pour both belts into that. Still cheap and easy, slightly better compression, and very practical in some scenarios. But in this case, as you can see, one of the belts are too full or backed up, while the other one is half full. Let's use two different materials to give you a better visual perspective of how this works and the resulting gaps. Finally, a different but a bit more expensive way to merge these two belts is to use a splitter. Oxymoron, I know, using a splitter to merge things, but this is how you do it. Now the resulting belt is fully compressed, taking advantage of all its throughput. Again, let's use two different materials to give you a better visual perspective of how this works. To learn more bite-sized Factorio stuff, keep watching upcoming nuggets and leave your questions below.